Hi, I'm Steve Saka. I'm with Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust, which is a know-nothing company at this point. Um, anyone that knows me knows that I have been working my way down in the cigar business since I started. I started off as an exec over at JR Cigar, and then my next job was uh, president and CEO of a little company called Drew Estate. And about two years ago, um, I decided that uh, I wanted to kind of go out and do something on my own, and we worked out a deal, and they paid me off, and I couldn't do anything for two years. And now, two years has passed, and I'm here. So uh, I'm launching a very small, little family-run business uh, to make cigars that I just personally love to smoke, that I believe in. And uh, the first cigar we're making is this one. It's called the Sobra Mesa, over the table. That's the literal translation. But what it actually is, is, is an idiom amongst the Latin culture for something that they do every day. It's normal to stay at the table, have a little cafe, smoke a little cigar, eat a little dessert, but mostly to spend 40, 50 minutes with your friends and your family just enjoying each other's company. You know, I'm a big believer in not trying to make a cigar that everybody likes. I think that's a disaster. When you make a cigar that everybody likes, you've ultimately made a cigar that nobody loves. And what I would much rather do is make a cigar that somebody's gonna say, wow, I really, really love that. You know, it's a, an Ecuador Habano, grade one, comes from La Meca, which is Oliva's best farm in Ecuador. It's kind of a dark rosado. Now, I know a lot of people are really big into Habana Ecuador and they talk about how flavorful it is. I don't agree with them. For me, Habano Ecuador is a very pretty wrapper, but I'm a believer that the binder underneath actually has a lot more importance than typically in other blends because so much of the binder flavor will show through. So in this particular cigar, I selected a binder from a very small farm. It's actually Vegas de Perros, okay, in Mexico, in the Matacapan region. And there's two young farmers, Carlos and Pablo, and they grow a very unique crop. I think they grow it this way because they're broke, but what they do is they plant it late into the season so they don't have to irrigate the fields. So the crop is actually grown into the rain. Not good for a wrapper crop, but I wasn't interested in wrapper. I was interested in binder. And what you end up getting is you get a very, very sweet, sweet, sweet wrapper. And that's one of the characteristics of this particular blend. It has a really nice, sweet, lingering finish on it. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's something that I find very appealing. The Tripa blend is a combination of five fillers, four of them Nicaraguan. One of them, one of the Lajeros in the blend is from the United States. I select a crop of Pennsylvania Maduro broadleaf that I use. It's got a lot of body, but it also has got a nice round edge to it. And I think it's something that a lot of people who are really experienced smoking a lot of cigars, I think they're going to find a lot to appreciate in it.